Hello. Let's see, today is November 4th, which makes me four days post-op. Yeah. I'm sitting in my dad's tool shed right now because they are watching the Packer game. And I didn't want to interrupt them, but I did want to make a quick update video because I didn't get to yesterday. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 23, so I'm an old fart now. It was fun. Uh, we went shopping. My parents bought me some new clothes that I'm really excited to wear over my new chest. That'll be nice. And we hung out. We had a Harry Potter marathon. What else did we do? I think that was pretty much it. Yesterday I was feeling very nauseous and I think it was because I didn't eat enough food before I took my pain medicine. Have you ever been like really hungry but you felt nauseous so you didn't want to eat but you were feeling nauseous because you hadn't eaten so it was like a vicious cycle? That happened to me all day yesterday. I'm pretty sure that's what was happening to me yesterday. I feel disgusting. It has been a long time since I've taken a shower and my sister's been washing my hair for me and uh, wiping me down with wet wipes. But, oh, I cannot wait to shower. I feel very gross. <laughs> Today I felt the pressure of the bandage. I think that the numbness from my surgery is wearing off and I can feel how tight it is. The, I believe it was yesterday, I woke up and I really felt like my bandage was going to fall off. Like I thought it was super, super loose. And so I actually had my sister tighten it. The Velcro used to be like right here, but now it's like all the way on my back. Normally people keep their shoulders up here because it feels like they can't put their rest their shoulders down. I can rest them down just fine. The problem is I yesterday I felt like if I rested my shoulders that this was going to fall off. So I kept my shoulders up real high like this. Um, so I had my sister tighten it and um, it felt a lot better. And then today I think um, the reason it felt so loose is because I've been feeling numb underneath this. Uh, because of the surgery and stuff and all the nerves being all shocked and so I felt like it wasn't tight enough and now that the numbness is wearing off it feels so tight I feel like my ribs are gonna break or something if I breathe too heavy and I'm finally feeling the soreness the tenderness where the drains are going in but it definitely is starting to feel uncomfortable very uncomfortable it's very tight it's very itchy uh, everything's very tender and sore. I guess sore is the best way to put it. Oh, you can see my facial hair a little bit. I'm growing it out. I don't think, maybe you can see this a little bit. It's very disgusting, but I'm very proud of it. And I'm definitely not going to get rid of it anytime soon. Yay. I think that's it for today for five days post-op. No, it's four days. What am I talking about? Tomorrow's five days. So just one more day, and I'll get to see my beautiful, beautiful chest. And Dr. Garamoni said that he was able to take out the pre-existing scars, because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I had a breast reduction surgery last November. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I mean, I'm sure underneath there's still some scar tissue, so I wonder how it's going to heal as compared to most other people who didn't have surgery beforehand. I'm getting really anxious and it's like starting to sink in that I'm gonna see my chest. My chest. On Wednesday. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I guess I'll find out soon. <sighs> oh boy. Alright, well I'm gonna go now and watch the rest of the Bears Packers game. So I hope that you all have a good night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.